story time? I got you, boo. Well, I feel like, first of all, I need to give a little rundown because a lot of women always want to know how it is being a sugar baby, how do you meet sugar daddies, and all the stuff that goes with it, and how do you get them to give you money for nothing or just to even meet up, right? So let's start with this. First of all, a lot of times people ask, where do you meet sugar daddies? How do you meet sugar daddies? Really, you can meet a sugar daddy anywhere, but definitely these dating sites, honey. Bumble is the main one I like. Hinge is good too, but I definitely love Bumble because it puts the ball in your court and it allows you to be in control of the situation at all times on Bumble. Hinge is kind of like they got to reach out to you and such and such, but Bumble, that's the one for us ladies, okay? So, now, now that we got that together, I was bored one day when I first got to New Orleans. I've been there since, I think, the 3rd of January. And I was trying to find me a big fish, you know? Because, ladies, I don't care what you say, any city you go to, what you're supposed to be doing is finding a sponsor, okay? Finding somebody that's going to make your life better, okay? Whatever your situation is. So... I'm right swiping, right swiping, and I see Clown, because that's what we're going to call him for the sake of the video. We're going to call him Clown. So I see Clown, and I'm like, ooh, his thing read like, in town for business, leaving soon, want to hang out, tour the city. Perfect. You guys, it's certain things you look for in their profile or in their little bio that sticks out. They're out of town, one. They're trying to have fun in the city, two. They don't care who you are, three. They just want to explore, right? All those are perfect. All those scream sugar daddy. So he, mess I message him, because I'm going to have to message him, and he hurries up and message back. I'm going to put that right here. This is our first initial message. Basically, in the messages, he's like, hey, I'm about to be gone. You about to be gone. Let's meet up. Cool. So I said, how about later today? We end up going out to the French Quarter to the Acme Oyster House restaurant. Beautiful. Oysters was delicious. Smell, taste, taste smelled like it was out of the ocean, okay? We had fun. Was talking, laughing, giggling. And he gives me the meat feed. Now, we went through back and forth about how he was going to give it to me because he was asking for me to do Zelle, Venmo, uh, whatever. I like Cash App because Cash App does not let people take their money back. I will do Zelle because it's through the bank if they don't have no other way to do it. A lot of times, people like that, rich people don't really like Cash App. They like Zelle, Venmo, PayPal. So I said, oh, well, yeah, I got PayPal. I'll take PayPal. He sends the money. We go to the lick store, get a bottle. He's like, let's go back to the room and have drinks or whatever. Because I had heels on. I didn't really want to walk around. I went in the mood. So we went back to his room, laughed, giggled, talked, exchanged stories. He was telling me about his life. I was telling him about my life. Had a ball. Right? It was getting late. I had to leave early the next day. He did too. So we decided to end the night. He gives me a little extra to catch a lift home. Because he's like, I've already been drinking. I really don't feel like, you know, driving. Is it okay if you catch a lift? Perfect. Yes, I'll catch a lift. Right? So I get in the lift. I'm waiting downstairs. And I see, like, across the screen, you know, like, you get a little notification, but you're not paying attention. But you, I see something about the amount that he sent, which was $300, Right? But the thing is this, the most important thing is this, ladies, and this is a side note, if someone gives you a meat fee, an allowance, or anything electronically, transfer it to a non-refundable app, minus cash app. As soon as he gave me the money while we was talking, laughing, and giggling, I had already transferred my funds, you feel me? That was a smart thing I did, number one. So I get in the car, I'm giggling and laughing with the with the Lyft driver, not paying attention, and I get home. 
And there's an email stating that this would it state. Miss such and such, such and such from Texas wants to dispute the transaction because she says it was an illegal use of a credit card or debit card or something like that. And I'm shocked. I'm like, what? Not he told me he was single. Not he told me he just be in and out of town back and forth working. Not he got a wife. Now she disputed the charges. Now she got a notification when he sent nothing free over here. $300. Yeah, that's my cash up. Nothing free over here. Anyway, if y'all want, if y'all feeling generous. $300. Now she tried to take it back. But, of course, PayPal informs me that I can refund the money or I can dispute the dispute. So, of course, I scream, stop sending the street, y'all, I'm babysitting, by the way. That's why y'all probably hear Coco Mel in the background. But I sent screenshots of his, his profile. I sent screenshots of our text messages. I sent screenshots of him telling me he was going to give me a me fee. And put it under services rendered. Period. Stop playing with me. My time is of the essence. And my time is very valuable. And if you want me to come and hang out with you and be that pretty chocolate thing on your arm, you got to pay me. Period. Ma'am. And if you have issues with your husband, boyfriend, whoever he is, I don't know who he is to her. But he had her card. So it may be joint and it was on his phone. Because he exchanged it on the phone. So it may be wife. Girlfriend, living lover, I don't care. But ma'am, take that up with your husband. Why is you disputing my money? I spent my three hours with this man, two hours with this man. I deserve my three hundred dollars. Don't you think? Don't you think I deserve my money? Like, why would you do that? So, anyways, y'all, we got to the 29th to determine whether or not PayPal did feel she deserves her money back. I'm definitely not giving no refund of her money back. That money already spent. Get over it. And I'm looking for my next victim. Period. So, you guys, if y'all want to know anything about being a sugar baby, and no, it ain't about how skinny you is, how fake your booty is, it's, 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 it's the vibe. It's the vibe that you give. Okay? So, ladies, if y'all want some tips on being a sugar baby and getting this money out of these men, let me know. I got you.